Good morning, everybody. Cheryl here with Ink Pulp, and we're back with Art Before Breakfast. <clears throat> I do have my coffee. I haven't had breakfast yet, and I am hungry. I have been um, eating a lot of vegetables and just really trying to eat healthier, and I've been walking, and my blood sugar was down quite a bit this morning, so I don't know if it was a fluke thing or as a result of the walking, but I'll take it. And I'm getting my live up here. Good morning, Mimi. Hey, Stacy. How are you? So I found these Tim Holtz mini file folders in my stash. I've never opened them. I thought maybe we could do something with them today. Oh, so I have some little ones and some bigger ones. What about... What about making these... Signatures... Three little signatures for a little mini journal. What do you guys think about that? This could be the cover, but it's awful big. Kind of dwarfs those, although I, well, yeah, that's not going to work. Um, good idea. Okay. Let's do it. Let's, let's make a little mini journal with these. Let's work on... one signature at a time and let's decorate the fronts of them what shall we decorate them with or maybe we should cut up the papers and sew them in no i think let's decorate sounds fun okay so give me some ideas. What shall we put on the front of them? I've got some fabric. And then I've also got... Ooh. Got a bunch of these cigarette cards that are butterflies. And let's see what else do I have in here. I've got so much stuff it's not even funny. Um, hmm. I've got some of these, but I think these would go more. These are the, um, yes, paper in the middle. Not a lot. It'll be a mini journal. I've got these. But those seem like they would go on at the last or they would go on the very front. But yes, I will cut up paper. and Like I said, it's a mini journal, so they won't be huge. But... Um... Ooh, how fun. I have these stamps. They're three-dimensional. I have these are stickers. Ooh. Ooh. Too big. I could cut the little tags off of them. I got this from somebody in a sale. That's gorgeous. Um, 
Um, oh, I don't care. I'm, I'm open. I mean, I literally just laid these down. Do we want to make a theme? Do we want to make a, uh, something grungy? Do we want to make butterflies? Do we want to make botanicals? Yes, I should use some of those leaves and I've got these. We're going to put one in an idea journal, and I think it'll be this one, because it's not my favorite, but it'll give me the idea. Oh, I also have this. What about... No, this is this way. And we kind of want the leaves going this way. And what about that on top? Seems like we need one more, though. Hey, it's all about randomness. What about that? And then we could put a word down there, and that could be the cover of the first signature, the first page of the first signature. could use some of the stuff that we made yesterday. Do you like that? I know it was, but it was sideways. And I'd have to cut a piece of him off. Um, yeah, I kind of think the leaves with this piece here. And then I could put a little piece of bling right in the middle of that. So I'm going to glue these leaves together. And we've got other signatures, so we could use that butterfly. He's just really big. Um, but hang on, I'm going to... Okay, let me let me glue them together at the top so they stay together, and then I will ink. I did ink some of them yesterday, but because they're um, slick with the embossing glaze, the ink doesn't stick very well. But I will. I will. I will. Good morning, Lori B. Um, but there's a, there's only two sizes, so help me understand. There's only two sizes. Let's kind of go for some grunge on this um, journal. I mean, we can do whatever we want with it, but let's try to make it some grunge. So, Lori B., I found some... Oh, you're not bossy. You're just giving some input. Okay, so there they are, inked up. So, Lori B., I found these um, little mini file folders from Tim Holtz, and I thought I would make them signatures, and we'll make a little mini journal. And so, using the leaves that we made yesterday, I might want to put something down behind that. Then I thought we would put this little piece of metal here and then maybe a word down at the bottom. <laughs> Good morning, Mike. So what do y'all think of that? I've got this bit of doily that I had died because my dog ate it up. And 
And then I could put a puffer behind that to make it stand up for the that oily. Okay, large folder open. All right, let me do that. Large folder open. Put paper at the back. Okay, so we have some paper back here. And then the smaller folder on top of that. Oh, okay. So you're so you're doing two and I would do two in here. I'd have to make a little bit of a spine here. Um I gotcha. And then this would be the cover or whichever one we choose. I kind of like this polka dot one. I gotcha. I gotcha now. I gotcha. So what do y'all think about something like this? It looks kind of wonky to me, like it needs to be. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Um, Cause yeah, they are both sides. So I've got this, but I've also got this a little bit thinner. And we could grunge that up. What do you guys think about that for the signature cover? It's very simple. You know, I really love how you guys all get along so well and have fun teasing each other. And that's what it's all about. I had an uncle. It was my grandfather's brother. So it was really my dad's uncle, but we called him Uncle Bill. And that man would tease relentlessly. And his, I mean, relentlessly. And... The story was always, if he didn't like you, if he wasn't teasing you, that meant he didn't like you. But not with the leaves. Okay, don't say sorry. I'm no sorry here. I'm just playing. Okay, we can grungy this up some and look at it. It's all... A little bit of that off. It might be a little too long. What about that lace? And we can grungy it up. Oh, I've also got this piece. Do you remember this that I put too much? That's your husband? Yeah. Metal and a leaf should go into the ideas journal. Okay, I did keep out one leaf. Um, so I've got... I don't know, maybe I should save that piece of fabric for something else. That seems to be getting lost in here. I don't know. What do you guys think?
Yeah, I like the lace too. And I'm wondering if, well, let's grunge up the lace a little bit. And let's use something a little bit different. I've got, um, I've got crushed olive and then I've got tea dye. Let's try those two and see um, what those do. All right, I took my water bottle to my metals bench. Hang on, let me grab it. So I have to show you guys what I was working on yesterday. They're both custom orders. Um, and the look of this will change a lot when I seal it. But this is a ring ordered by a guy at one of my shows. And it's got red. Like I'll probably sand back a little bit of that green so that more of the red shows through. But I had some bracelets like this. I probably showed them to you guys. Yeah, until I seal it, I can. Um, and those reds will be more vibrant when I seal them. Um, But he loved the look of the red. He just thought it was just so natural looking. So here is what his ring will look like. And then that will all be sealed. What I don't like is that the seam is showing on the other side. But I don't know what to do about that. So that's the ring. And then I had a customer who wanted a French Bulldog nightlight. So... I cut out a French Bulldog and it needs to be sealed and finished off so I can get it in the mail to them. A couple spots where the patina didn't take and if they don't like that, I will add some more. So those are the things that I was working on yesterday. Oh, well, thank you. That would be nice of you, Mimi. Um, hi, Wendy. Hi, Donna. Patina, yeah. And I get to play with a lot of it. So anyway, that's what I was working on yesterday. I got a call from my customer and he's like, how's the ring coming? I said, funny you should ask. I was just working on it today. I knew that wouldn't be enough. Let's put some more tea dye down because I knew that was not going to be enough. And actually what I'm going to do... Oh, shoot. I sprayed on my folders. Hang on. Real quick. Wipe them off. Wipe them off. They'll be fine. I didn't aim that water bottle very well. Yeah, it's going to be... Um, hi, Kelly. It's going to be um, much better once the sealant is on it. Okay, this kind of looks like fall. So let's dry that real quick. 
So you guys, I found some Tim Holtz folders and we're going to make a little mini journal. And Stacy had a great idea that I'm going to go with. Hang on. Let me dry this. And I'll show you what we're going to do. Well, tell Bob we all said hello. <laughs> You're feisty this morning, Mimi. You are feisty this morning. Okay. Let me wipe up the rest of this liquid here. All right. So how about that for grungy? And it kind of matches the leaves. How about that? And then we can still, we still need to put something up here. And maybe it's still a metal piece, but just not that colored metal. And then I don't know if we need to put a word down here because I've got the grunge coming all the way down. That's, oh, actually I had it on this one. You guys like? Lori B says gorgeous. Gorgeous. Let's see if I have a little, oh, you know what I do have? This might be really cool. I have a metal butterfly that I could put at the top of those. So I have that butterfly and I have this butterfly that one blends in a little too much i think and then i have cheryl okay well this is the one that i had started with so hang on we'll vote on that let's vote on the butterfly so there's a Here's B. It's a little blendy. It blends in. I like that first one because it's dark and it really stands out. And then there's C, and I think that's too narrow. So you have A and B. You guys tell me which butterfly do we use, A or B? Oh, okay. I will do that. Okay, here is a, let's see if I can, the other reason I like this one is because it lays really flat. There's a, and the top of the leaves, and here is B. This one blends in a little more, but it's pretty nonetheless. Stacy likes B. What do the rest of you like? A or B? B is pretty. What about the rest of you? A or B? And I could take on the B, if you like the B, I could take a little bit of gold wax and just kind of highlight here and there with some gold. Donna likes B. I've got two B's. Mike, what do you think? Okay. So you're thinking like just a word. 
up here and you know what I cut a snip of fabric for that very thing so let's let's look at that as an option um that other fabric that was all grunged up and now I cannot find it to save my soul Well, this is just one of the ones that's going to go in the big one. Yeah, I saw that, Donna. We'll, we'll take a vote on that. So, so we'll, this, this one will be one of the ones inside. Okay, here's this piece. So you're saying something like this although that's too wide Lori B you're saying something like this at the top with just a word on it what do you guys think about that and we would have a word in there. Is that what you were thinking, Lori? I got this wet. Now there's a little watermark on it, but it's kind of cool. Kind of adds to the grungy. A little smaller even. Okay. Okay, that's a little bit smaller. Is that more what you had in mind? Okay, I've got Mimi saying yes, fabric in a word. Lori saying fabric in a word. Donna says no. Yeah, I just don't know if I have anything that says fall. <laughs> at the moment now I could leave this like this and then go print something later and put on there that says fall okay so let's take a vote fabric or butterfly I already know Donna I already know Lori B and Mimi Oh, don't shut up, Stacy. You, you're so you're you're voting butterfly. So you and Donna vote butterfly. I have two for butterfly and two for fabric. Cheryl wants butterfly. Good morning, Cheryl. Okay. So then, the question is which, and I think. I'm going to take this vote again because I don't know. I think it was going to be this one. Now I could put the fabric under the butterfly and make it stick out a little more. So we have butterfly A, and I think I like that little bit of fabric under it. So Lori, at least we got your fabric in there. Come on. There it is. So there's A. And then I have B, which is the darker one. So vote A or B. And I think we already did this vote, but I want to do it again. We've got, okay, A from Stacy with no fabric. We do have a lace under it, so we do kind of have fabric. Okay, what about everybody else? A or B? Come on, you guys. Lori, what are you thinking? A or B? Mike, what do you think?
A A A. <laughs> That's all right. That happens every now and again, Lori. It happens every now and again. Happens to me too. I get outvoted. Um, I don't have. I know I'm not going to do the embossing powder on this butterfly because I only have those greens and I would want a more neutral color. I ordered some, you guys. I ordered a whole bunch of them. And you know what? Yeah, sometimes it does. Um, you guys, I have to tell you, I used to count Cheryl as a very good friend. I mean, we talk on Facebook all the time, live on Facebook. I mean, we have conversations. We, Our husbands are very, very similar. But I think Cheryl is not my friend anymore. I hate to say it. But I think I have to let that friendship go by the wayside. And Cheryl, you know why. I don't even have to tell you why. Cheryl is an enabler, ladies. She is an enabler. I was no sooner off of that video yesterday than she was sending me links to packages of the um, embossing glazes and I mean she was just enabling me to buy glazes what is happening so Cheryl I don't know we may be done dear not sure but we may be done And I still love you, too. You know I'm teasing you. All right. Here's what I'm going to do with this. This is really kind of slick. So I'm going to take some sandpaper. And I'm just going to rough it up a little bit. And then I'm going to put some. Oh, I just ordered them, Donna. I have a big order coming. Gosh, I haven't bought from Maddie in ages. I forget about her because I just really haven't. Let's take it right down to the. <laughs> I know you enabler you. Hey, by the way, and Cheryl, I still love you. You know that. You know I wouldn't give up our friendship. Um. By the way, you guys, I I know she announced it in another, uh, I think it was in a sale. Good news, if you have not heard, Cheryl has been battling to get her disability for years for her RA. And she recently had a hearing and she heard back. You keep on enabling. Mike, you're going to be next to go if you don't stop that mess. I'm going to grungy up the edges. Um, Cheryl, I am just really teasing you. I loved the links. I actually found one that was even a little bit better. Um... But uh, Cheryl got approved for her disability. So everybody, let's give a toast to Cheryl and getting her disability. Everybody raise your coffee cup, raise your water, raise your tea, raise your alcohol, 
if you're drinking this early in the morning, raise your orange juice, whatever you have, and let's all say congratulations, Cheryl, and drink a toast to Cheryl. Oh, hey, hey, Dana. I don't know if I've seen you here before. I mean, I know who you are. I see you in sales and stuff, but um, I don't know if I've seen you here. All right, let's see if I can find in this nest somewhere. Oh, okay. Well, I'm so glad you made it to the live. You know then that we are very interactive. You get to help decide what happens. Nope, that one's not looking. So glad you made it to the live. We're getting all kinds of new people. And Amy, who came in once, and I was hoping she would come back in. I'm putting together a... Remember Amy who said she's just kind of getting back into crafting and I said I would kind of put together a um, package for her and I've been working on that. I've got some stuff piled up. I just got to get it out. Okay. Let's get some grunge on this thing. So I bought the embossing glazes. They should be here in about a week, I think, is what they said. What do you think of that, you guys? And then, and actually, I need to do this inside, too, because it's going to show... We have lots of fun people here, Dana. I'm so glad you made it. Um, oh, yeah, I was going to get your vote. Um, hang on. I forgot about that. Um, it, it did, but I don't think the colors were the right ones. But let's see. I'm not going to do this side just yet. I'm going to ink up this. I got on a mission and I got a one track mind there, Donna. And But hang on, let me ink this up and then we'll look at the other one as well. And so for those who just came in, I have these um, Tim Holtz folders, and we're going to make a little mini journal out of it. We could put the word fall on the tab. Um, okay, was it, which one, Donna? The blue or the, I don't think the blue goes. So was it this one? This one was more white, and I would have to grunge it up. Yeah, they're all going to go in. I'm just thinking, the reason I picked this one, yeah, I'm not sure, because this has got the green that kind of matches, so let's take a vote. I'm open if everybody else, and sometimes you guys know I get outvoted. Um, and I'm okay with that. So here it is on the green with everything all roughed up around the edges. And then here it is on the blue. Nothing's been rough, roughed up yet, but oops, let me get it up here. So we're going to vote. A was the green and B was the blue. While I look for my lid that's right in front of me. And I think 
snow blue. Okay, Donna and Wendy both like the blue. What does everybody else think? I have one for the green and two for the blue. You guys tell me, what do you want? Let's everybody get a vote in there. I'm looking for a stencil. There's a stencil that I want to pull out of here. Come on. Mike, Mimi, uh, Dana, give us a vote, dear. Which one do you like? You get your first vote. Um... I'm looking for a specific stencil. I don't know if I'm going to find it. Um, yeah, I can. Hang on. I can, I can, but hang on. I'm looking for a specific stencil. I thought I put a little bit of coffee splatter at the top of that right behind the leaves but i'm not finding my coffee splatter stencil in this box lordy knows i've got everything else in here well hmm i've got feathers and birds and bicycles and gears. I don't know where the coffee is. Well, there it is. It was right on top. Okay, rough up the blue. Yep. Come on, Lori. Blue or green. Um, everybody is saying B, the blue one. So look there, I'm getting outvoted. That happens. So thank you, Donna, for suggesting that because nobody else did, but yet they like it better. It looks like most people are wanting the blue. Lori B. There's that, and then what did I do with my dauber? There it is. I stand in your conviction for what? What was your conviction, Lori? Oh, I want to sandpaper this, too. Um, you're not the tiebreaker. What was your conviction, Lori? I know, I'm, I know. Let me go back and look. I saw you give the coffee. Oh, the fabric and the word. Okay. Well, what about the blue or the green? How 
I have to say, Lori D, and I hate to say this because I love you and I think you have great ideas, but I kind of like the butterfly too. But then I like adding metals. I mean, y'all know I work with metals. So, all right, let's. That's right. She made a sign and hung it up. <laughs> Oh, Mimi. That's okay. You're allowed to not be happy with. Lordy, I think for a while there, Donna was getting outvoted every time she brought something up. Now, this time, she was spot on, but um, somebody else was getting outvoted a lot. I don't remember who it was, but... Um, and then I was getting outvoted there sometimes, so... I want to not make that such a straight line. Um, so Lori B, you're not alone in getting outvoted. That's the, at least this isn't a channel where I'm making all the decision and you guys just have to watch along and like it or not. Oh, my God. Um, Lori retracted it, and I didn't see what it was, but I can look at. Oh, we have a. Um... Yeah, we have a bot in here there we go it's gone now it's all grungied up so you don't see the blue as much but it's pretty oh all right there's the blue all grunged up and then there's the, um, can you tell us your first name? If you're really a crafter, welcome. We are welcome. I'm just not sure if you're a, a troll or a, yeah, what is, what is your, not a bot? Okay. Cowper Loper. Seat Hope. Can you tell us your first name? Anyway, everybody's still thinking blue. So there's the green. And there's the blue. Green or blue? I think everybody had kind of decided on blue. So Mimi, you wanted to see it grunged up. Um, do you like it? Bentley, okay. Bentley, well, welcome. Where are you from, Bentley? I mean, your, your, you know, your name is obviously, um, you know, not english or your writing isn't and i'm always curious to know where people come from i am fascinated by um kansas you're in kansas okay what language is the other text that you um are typing in there is that is it maybe russian or greek But we welcome you, Bentley. And I'm sorry I deleted your first comment. I thought you were, because it all came in in a different language, I thought maybe you were um, 
a troll coming in to mess with us. So I apologize. Hebrew. Oh, okay. Well, welcome. We give you a nice warm welcome and I'm sorry for my misstep. I, uh, I made a wrong assumption and that really goes to show about assumptions. It's not good to make assumptions. Ah, oh, it's Russian. Okay. Very cool. That's one country I've never been to. I've been to a lot of countries in the world, but Russia is not one of them. Okay, there we go. What do you guys think? There it is on the blue. I'm going <laughs> to. Yeah, we get we get protective of our streams and um, you just never know. And it really, really, really. Oh, wow. Japanese, I don't know what Emily is, French, German, Spanish, Chinese, Russian, and English. Wow. I speak a little bit of Spanish um, because when I was young and my dad was in the army, I lived in Panama for some years and we had to take Spanish. And then when we got back, well, not when we got back because I was still young, but when I went to high school, I still remember we had to take a foreign language and I still remembered some of my Spanish. So that obviously was my language of choice. I've forgotten a lot of it now, but I can still my <laughs> I can do the Spanish accent, like rolling the R's and stuff like that. I can do that much better than I can speak the language. So I still can do the accent. And I speak just a couple of words of Japanese, like thank you. And um, well, that's the only one I can think of at the moment. Um, <laughs> Killbelly English. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with Hick Hillbilly English, Mimi. This is turning out just awesome, you guys. Thank you for all the input. And I'm sorry, Lori, that we didn't go with the fabric and the word. But I may have a solution for that. Now, this is bent. I'm going to flatten it out a little bit. It's still kind of bent and the, the wings are curved a little. I just ordered three more bottles of Fabri-Tac. I went on to Joanne's website. If you guys go to Joanne, um, and you haven't been there before, if you sign up for their newsletter, which I'll sign up to get a discount, and then I did, then I unsubscribe as soon as they start coming in, because I usually don't want to get the newsletters. Um, no, I have a thought, Lori B. I have a thought. Hang on. Um, oh. Too far down. Okay. So anyway, they were offering 25% off all prices, even sale prices. I got an extra 25% off on everything. And then I spent $50. So um, I got free, free shipping. Um, That's not stand down real good. Um, so I scored on Joanne's yesterday. Okay, let's put the gesso bottle on there. And what I'm thinking is what about putting the fabric on the tab and putting a word on the tab? 
Well, you can. You can. They had stuff on sale, and for signing up, the deal was that I could get tw an extra 25% off everything I bought. So some things were really, um, really a good deal because they were already on sale, and then I got an extra 25%. So. so go out to Joann's with a different login or computer or whatever and uh, see if you can get that, especially if you know you need to buy a lot of stuff because then you get shipping completely free if it's over 50. If it's not over 50, you get the shipping part free or no, $1.99 shipping, but they add a handling on it. App was on the app Donna I hardly ever go to the store most of what I do is going to be on the app we have a Joann's here but it's kind of small they don't their selection isn't all that great all right so there's that that's done now, Lori B, what do you think about putting a piece of fabric What do you think about that piece of fabric and we'll put a word on the tab? Would that make you feel even just a little bit better? Oh, I was going to put some coffee stain behind that. Oh, well. See, I got to talking and worrying about Lori. and Well, thank you, Donna. Let's see if I have a little. Oh, you know what I have? I bought, when I was at the thrift store, I bought like a pack of 50 of these little trays for a dollar. The little plastic trays, and I can store stuff in them so I can see better. Turn them all over, and I've got a beautiful that could go on there. I've got hope today, believe. Aw. Well, I think we're still going to do this. So help me pick a word. It's got to be a shorter word. So beautiful or belief. I also have freedom and sparkle. I love this tray and then I can just pile them up. Let's see how fast I can lose it. I have final cut. This is the final cut of our signature cover. All right, we've probably got enough choices. Um, let's decide. <laughs> I don't have um, any weather related um, of weather related season related words. I just I'm sorry. Um, I don't think sparkles the right one. OK. And I don't know about final cut, but we'll see. OK, A, B, C or D. A is believe. B is freedom. C is final cut and D is beautiful. It's going to be a sassy day. <laughs> a, B, C, or D for the word. And in the meantime, I'm going to glue down this piece of fabric. 
because even though it's not going to make Lori B feel better, we're going to take her idea and incorporate it in a little different way. E, beautiful. Okay, I have one for beautiful. And you know what? Lori B, I'm just going to go with it. Yeah, sassy. Um, I'm just going to go with it. Since we really bummed out Lori B by not taking her idea on the other I'm just going to go with it. Mike wanted C. So Mike, I'm sorry. I'm going with Lori B's word. And I'm going to tear it and ink it. A and E. Okay. Well. We picked A or E, so I let Lori have this choice since she all right. Sassy Pants is your new name, Lori B. Ah, now see, there we go. I set it up on top of my coffee and I've already spilled it. I am such a basket case. Should we put it out or facing in? I think facing in because when you open an envelope you, or a folder, you open it like that. Okay. Let me pick up these little words. Sassy pants. I've never seen Lori get sassy before. How you doing out there, Dana? Are you enjoying the, the live? All right. There it is. What do you guys think? And there's the beautiful. The cover for our first signature. What do you all think? Yeah, I know. But I wanted to give a little reprieve to Miss Lori B. I've done that for others sometimes when they get outvoted. Not into what tag? Oh, the tab? Well, it is what it is. I love it. Whose middle name? All right, it's an hour. So Dana, I hope you'll come back again um, and see us. We'll work on the next cover tomorrow. And then, um, the, or the signature cover, we'll do some really nice signature covers and then um and then stacy's idea was to take one of these larger folders i don't know if it'll be this one um maybe this one. Oh, this one's got like water staining all over it i love it um take this and put in some paper in the back of it so you have paper there and then put in the other signatures on top of that paper so you have some smaller ones and then you get to the bigger one and i think that's a very um i know i didn't i i didn't i wanted the green it was more matchy matchy but um hey i'm like i said i'm more than willing to be outvoted i'm not my ego ain't that big so um 
So yeah, I'm I'm fine with being outvoted. Yeah, I think it will be. Now what I may need to do is cut this folder and put a little cut it down the middle and put a little spine in there because I'm going to have three signatures plus some paper in the back and um I may need to work a spine in there. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to decorate all the covers first, and then we'll assemble the whole thing and put the paper in and all that. Oh, what a sweet little deal. All right. Thank you, folks. I love you all. Yeah, it definitely needs a bigger spine, I think. Um, I love you all. Please be sure and give me a thumbs up. And um, this was a fun project. I really love how that came out. And I love using those leaves from yesterday. I love that. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Uh, and we'll be back tomorrow to work on this again. Bye.